Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trade and we strongly recommend to get a little more educated before you start using real money. Uh, let's close this disclosure here. Uh, right now it's 2.49 p.m. is on Tuesday and uh, we are a little bit early and uh, there is a still uh, we still have a six chart still open uh, based on the last trade. So we have the DAX, uh, 4,000 was all the way up to 6,000 and the market taking a reverse here. And then uh, we have the Ru Russell uh, 7 range and then we have the uh, Russell 9 range and then we have the ES 9 range. Uh, 3,000 and then we have the Nasdaq five minutes uh, 2,900 on the last trade and then uh, we have the ES on eight range 4,000 so this is this is really not bad for Tuesday and uh, let's uh, look at the morning session uh, today we started the auto trades at 922 exactly and um, we have a NASDAQ three minutes, uh, 5,200. This is a beautiful trade. And the Russell we covered. And then we have the ES eight range 4,000 and the NASDAQ 3,100. Um, uh, on the DAX, uh, we got uh, 4,531 uh, on the on the DAX 5 range, we got 2,874. On the YM 1 minute, we got 1,820. And it was finished around 12.23. And uh, we started around 9.22. Uh, on the DAX 7 range, we got 4,800. On the DAX 5 minutes, we got 2,500. And... Uh, I think this is the last one with the DAX, 10 range, 2,000. One minute, 3,311. And again, you can see how the market is connected. Uh, the morning uh, chart, uh, it was done also uh, uh, between 12 and 12.30, most of them. Uh, the DAX 9 range got uh, 3,900. And then the YM5 range got 1,100. We started at 9.22, it was done at 9.32 within 10 minutes. Uh, we hit the target, that's why you don't see any more trade. In less than 10 minutes, hit the target and you're out of there. Uh, on the uh, YM also, again, uh, you can see how the connection between the time and when they hit the target and the start time, they all start at the same time. And you can see the morning session when the market is moving, they all hit almost the same timing. This, that is depends when the market is spiking or when the market is trending. 1,475 and it is less than 10 minutes in the market it was done. On the YM8 range, also look at this, is, is, is different time frame become irrelevant when the market is trending. And this one here is 9.34. On the YM, a 150 takes. Also, you can see all the YM hit exactly the same time and hitting the, uh, the target despite the time frame. Uh, that indicate how powerful is the auto trade adopting to the market, not the, the chart. And it is 9.36. NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, there is a different uh, mixed results today from 1,200 to $7,000, depends on the time frame. 
and uh, this one uh, it was finished from 9.22 to 10.33 that's one hour in the market uh, the YM on the 100 take 1000 uh, DAX 4 minutes 4485 on the afternoon session on the Russell 1365 it was done at 1208 uh, the same timing as the others and you can see when uh, the Russell spiked we took all the spike right there from the bottom to the top and it was out with 1365 uh, then we got the NASDAQ 7,335. The difference uh, with the other NASDAQ and this NASDAQ uh, is uh, the, the way uh, uh, the, the, the movement on the 200 takes. You can see how the market was dropping earlier today and, uh, and uh, got 7,335 does not mean tomorrow the same chart will make the same amount of money tomorrow could be the 150 takes the main point is to catch the spike for today and run away uh, from the market you should not be trading 24 7 which we are building and uh, as we speak right now an auto trade uh, to be 24 7 non-stop but it's very complex you know uh, much much algorithm has to be in and filtered and all this is for the anyway uh, on the Russell three minutes we you know, we finished at 2185 on the Russell 150 takes we got 1385 it was done also between 12 and 1230 uh, the Nasdaq uh, four minutes uh, 3560 and uh, on the YM 10 range look at it exactly the same time 1870 on the YM uh, 5 minutes we got 2000 and then on the Russell 200 takes we got 1465 1,000 on the 6th range. Uh, the DAX 100 take, uh, 3,133. And the YM on the 3 minutes uh, got 3,770 for the morning session where uh, in the morning session, the European hours, we did very well. And then in the afternoon, uh, we, uh, we did another round and you can see uh, it was perfect entries and exit no losing trade beautiful entry beautiful exit and it is over uh, on the Russell 1845 based on the one minute on the YM and nine range we got 1650 on the YM 200 takes, we got 2,395. On the DAX uh, 8 range, we got uh, 4,766. On the CL 200, we got 1,600. And on the CL 6 range, we got 2,670. And on the CL 150 ticks, we got 2,600. And on the NASDAQ one minute, we got 3,715. And on the ES uh, three minutes, we got 3,250. This is a beautiful uh, catch in the afternoon because in the morning we had a uh, different uh, approach. And uh, when the market decided to go long, we did go long. And, and the, here it is. I mean, it's beautiful entry, beautiful exit, right on time. And it is a very decent uh, trade. Uh, on the NASDAQ 100, we got 3,150. And on the ES, four minutes, we got 2,650. And then on the ES 10 range, we got 4,000. 
550. This is an excellent. This is not an ATR, guys. This is a, not an ATR. Uh, this is a, a based on a price line, and that's why you see on this auto trade there is a neutral. When the market in a certain levels, uh, the auto trade goes to neutral. This is a cannot be an ATR. Uh, is a way far from the ATR. Is a much more advanced. Uh, algorithm uh, then it's just a stupid moving average above or below the line so this is a this is a totally different approach uh, to the market for swing trading and in the same auto trade you there is a, a huge variety from uh, entry reversal scalping uh, a huge variety of filter we're not using filter we only use in one entry uh, for the swing trading but you can scalp the market you can use unlimited filters in there you, you know they are really you can adjust this auto trade the way you want it to be trade you can set the rules for that for this auto trade how it works or how when you need to take the trades timing you can uh, add the timing on it and you can use your daily uh, uh, time start stop and you can put your maximum losses and your target for today. On the CL7 range, we got 1,340. On the ES5 range, we got 1,000. And on the ES6 range, we got 3,650. On the ES7 range, we got 1,600. And you can see, this is not an ATR. You can see, let me show you something between those yellow line and the red bars if we go ahead and look at the price level you can see where exactly at 43 ton below that number is neutral above that number is a, tr a long trade and this is what makes it success it cannot be a trade in negative or positive there is something in, in the market called neutral when the neutral is an absent in your chart you're gonna be taking unnecessary trade where it can be severely damaged to your account you cannot adjust your auto trade based on just a plus and minus you cannot adjust the auto trade or a manual trade uh, by taking a long trade or a short trade you are killing it because it's like you're driving a car with the three wheels if we look another example here here below that line the market is is a neutral even for uh, people are taking the trades a uh, hand uh, they're, they're taking the trade without the auto trade there is a certain area on the chart where it is a neutral and you should not be messing with it. So when you are trying to take a, an auto trade going long and short and not be avoiding some neutral uh, ways in the market, you are a disaster trader, whether you are a manual or an auto trader. There is nothing in the market called just black and white. There is nothing in the market called positive and negative. There is sideways. What happened to the sideway market? How are you going to survive a sideway market? And how you want to be accurate with your entry and exit? This is not a dishwasher machine you turn on in the morning and then you come back, you find out your dishwasher machine filled up with US dollars. This is not the way it works. What you have seen on the fairy tale uh, on those commercials is only fairy tale. But an algorithm, you have to remember. You're not the only one is auto trading. There is a, millions of traders are auto trading with education and with much more advanced algorithm than what you are using. So you cannot come in with something is 20 years old and beat up a guy is using the latest technology. He knows what is neutral. He knows what is long. He knows what is short. He knows when to be on the side and you want to beat him up. There is nothing you're going to beat except your account reality. And if you don't take me serious, that's okay. That's fine. Just look at your account and you talk to yourself and see what you're doing wrong. Of course, you know, don't talk to me about it. Look at your account and tell me how well you are doing. Uh, NASDAQ, 
4,700. There we go. Beautiful. You know, and, and if you were monitoring this auto trade and you go to the max, you can also override this auto trade. You could have made 7,000 stand 4,000 on this. If you are looking at your fib line, because on the blue chart, it can give you the indication. You don't need to put anything on the chart. Uh, you don't need to do anything on the chart. You just read it. It tells you when you're going to be exiting and when you're going to look at this. It's exactly where it is here. That would have made $3,000 more. So uh, the thing is, if you just keep your eye on the chart once a while and you say, you know what, uh, I think it is the bottom in this market. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in and override the auto trade. There is nothing wrong with that. NASDAQ 10 range, 1,315. Uh, on the CL uh, nine range, it is 1,350. Uh, on the CL two minutes is 3,630. Uh, another auto trade, it is the market analyzer. At this moment, based on the last entry signal, not the whole day, the last entry signal, there is 700 ticks into the profit. And this market analyzer comes with five different automated trades. Beside the institutional auto trade, the scalper, uh, the, the, the reversal auto trade, and now we are working on a new auto trade very soon. After we are done with this auto trade, you have 20 different auto trade in your package with the same price as the ATR auto trade. So you calculate it with your head and see which one is best for you. We don't need to trade all of it. We can trade the ES78 ticks based on the last entry uh, signal. NASDAQ, 332 ticks based on the last entry signal. YM, 119 ticks based on the last entry signal. If you don't have money, you can trade only the ES NASDAQ Dow Jones or you can trade only ES or only NASDAQ or only Dow Jones. Or you, if you want to, you can use a micro account. This market analyzer is based on one contract. You cannot go wrong. Uh, you can also use the advantage of those signals uh, from the top. When the market is synchronized, you have a three confirmation. The ES is short in conjunction with the CL is synchronizing with the ES and the YM. This is a green light to start auto trading. If you look on the other channel today, we had the NASDAQ short and we had the EAS refuse to die and stay long. And what happened, it was a confliction in the market and the market was not synchronized, which it is severe damage to any type of an auto trade you are using using the market analyzer to make sure the ES, it is on the strong short, the NASDAQ is on the strong short, the YM is on the strong short, and they are synchronized in the opposite direction of the 30-year treasury bond. That can give you signal that you are allowed to turn on an auto trade. When there is confliction or when there is confusion in the market, you should be staying away. And that was the biggest example for today live on the other channel. We have a predicted from the first minute we started the webinar. The NASDAQ hit the institutional number, uh, the target two and target three, and stayed going back and forth between target two and target three, where the ES refused to die. So what happened, the ES was not trending and the guy is not keeping his eye on the market analyzer would have been severe damage on his account and there is a potential to lose thousands of dollars for one day by refusing looking at the market analyzer to make sure it is in sequence little things here and there getting the feeling of the market before you start auto trading can avoid severe damage to your account Folks, that's all what we have for you today. And uh, I hope uh, we will uh, see you soon on the other channel live. And uh, thank you very much. God bless you all. And uh, please be safe uh, for the rest of the day. Bye for now.